Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this linear earning quality. Two times x is greater than negative six. Uh, so to do this, we're going to want to at least uh, solve for our variable. All right, and you can see our only variable that we have in this case is x. So to solve for x, I'm going to divide by two on both sides. If I divide by two, I have x is greater than negative three. All right, now when graphing this, this is going to be very similar to graphing x equals 3, or x equals negative 3. And to do that, basically what we want to do is create a table of values. Now, when we're creating a table of values, we know that x is always going to equal negative 3. No matter what my value of y is, it's always going to equal negative 3. So we need to determine, well, where is an x equal to negative 3? Well, that's on the x-axis. That's the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3. So it doesn't matter what value for y I pick, x is always going to equal 3. So therefore, you know, it doesn't matter. I could do 10, I could do 0, I could do negative 5. No matter what values I pick for y, x always equals negative 3. So for an equation, that would graph a vertical line. But we're dealing with an inequality. So we have to do a couple things. We have to make sure, is our line going to be dashed or solid? Since this is greater than and not greater than or equal to, it's going to be dashed. That means all the points that lie on this line are not a part of the solution. So to prove that to you, I can plug in a coordinate point and it will not be true. So let's plug in any coordinate point that I have. Remember, x is always equal to negative 3. So negative 3 is greater than negative 3, which is false. Because a negative 3 is equal to negative 3. So that's why this line is dashed. Because any point that lies on the line is not going to be true. Now we want to determine what about the shading. Where are we going to shade for this point? Are we going to shade points to the left or to the right? So to do that, we need to choose another point that does not lie in the line. And the best point to always pick is 0, 0, unless the 0, 0 goes to the line. So then the only coordinate, again, that we can plug in is x, right? So I'll plug in 0 is greater than negative 3. I don't have anywhere to plug in my y coordinate. It doesn't really matter. 0 is greater than negative 3. That is true. So since it's true to the left of the line, that means all points to the left of the line are going to be true. And that means all points to the right of the line are going to be false. For instance, 0 is going to be true. 0, oh my god, I graphed that wrong. That's positive 3, right? Negative 1, 2, 3. So negative 3, I'm sorry, I was thinking of 3. My bad. So my dashed line looks like this. Not this. So that means all the points to the right of my line are true. I forgot the negative. My apologies. That means any point to the left of the line will be false. For instance, negative 4, comma 0. And let's check that out. Is negative 4 greater than negative 3? No, that's false. That's why none of the points to the left are true. Because once one point is false to the left, that means all points to the left are false. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a vertical linear inequality. Thanks.